Number six. According to one theory, the pressure of a gas increases as its volume decreases because the molecules in the gas have to move a shorter distance to hit the walls of the container. Does this theory follow a macroscopic or microscopic description of chemical behavior? Explain your answer. Okay, so let's track back. It says, according to one theory, the pressure of a gas increases as the volume decreases because the molecules in the gas have to move a shorter distance, blah, 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 blah. But the key thing here is that we're talking about molecules. The molecules, the little stuff in the container, are moving back and forth, right, in the chemical, in the container, and they're moving at a shorter distance. So is this macroscopic or microscopic? Go back to question four and five. We go into depth on what macroscopic and what microscopic means. I'll just put them right here. Macroscopic means it's the stuff in science that we can see with our eye versus microscopic, which means that we cannot see them. Specifically, molecules and atoms. So, because they're talking about molecules here, Would this be classified as a macroscopic or microscopic description? This is totally a, ooh, this is totally a microscopic description. Why? Because part of the microscopic domain is stuff that we cannot see with our human eye, especially molecules and atoms. And that's the whole microscopic domain. Can't get any more simpler than that. So that's the end for this one. Hope you guys learned a lot. I will see you all in the next lesson. Make sure to subscribe if this helped. See you guys next time.